Hello fellow Guardians, Voltzilla Plays here bringing you another Destiny video. It's October 21st, a Wednesday, so we know what that means, Arms Day. So let's see what Banshee has for us this week. First up, we'll go through last week's Foundry Orders. The first gun is a Zanea slash D auto rifle from Hawk Cave. So the rank one version gives you GA post or LD watchdog, army of one, rodeo, high caliber rounds, hand loaded, or braced frame. The rank two version has the SC hollow or LC ranged, army of one, persistence, high caliber rounds, fitted stock, or braced frame. The rank three version has GA post, LC ranged, army of one, range finder, snapshot, fitted stock, or small bore. So out of all of those, I'm going to most likely go with number two. Just that extra persistence and hopefully getting the quick unassisted kills for the grenade melee. But I'm not too impressed with any of these perks really. And it's not my type of auto rifle. It's a fast fire rate, very low impact. And that's more like a pea shooter. I don't care. I like something with a little bit more impact in my guns. So then the second gun is the Suros JLB-47 Rocket Launcher. He did offer this the week prior also. The week prior had amazing rolls on it. This week, not so much. <laughs> so we have Warhead Veneers, Smart Drift Control, Hard Launch, Single Point Sling, Speed Reload, Who's Next, Perfect Balance, Snapshot. Rank Rank 2, we have Warhead Veneers, Smart Drift Control, Hard Launch, Heavy Payload, Flared Magwell, Tripod, Perfect Balance, and Lightweight. In the third one, we have Warhead Veneers, Linear Compensator, Hard Launch, Heavy Payload, Speed Reload, Who's Next? Perfect balance and quick draw. Uh, this one, don't really care for any of them. I went with the first one. It's going to most likely just be burned for legendary marks. The third gun is the Strongbow D Hockey Shotgun. So the rank one version has CQB Ballistics, Field Choke, Close Interpersonal, Range Finder, Reload, or Flared Megwell. Hand loaded, oiled frame. Rank 2 version has soft ballistics, linear compensator, danger close, range finder, flared magwell, perfect balance, and rifled barrel. And the rank 3 version has smart drift control. Field Choke, Final Round, Spray and Play, Flared Magwell, Hand Loaded, Rifled Barrel. Um, I ended up going with the second rank. Uh, this is another one of those. It's a middle range, middle ground shotgun. It doesn't have the massive range, but also doesn't have a massive rate of fire. So this most likely for me will also be burned for legendary marks. Fourth gun is the Hake Oif Rau D sniper rifle. The rank one version has ATA Scout, ATD Raptor, Private Eye, Zen Moment, Perfect Balance, Quick Draw, and Braced Frame. The rank two has ATA Scout. ATD Raptor, Surplus, 
Spray and play. Perfect balance. Quick draw. Embraced frame. And the rank three has ATB long range, ATB Raptor, Private Eye, Who's Next, High Caliber Rounds, Snapshot, and Braced Frame. Um, I'm probably going to go with the second rank, and most of the stuff is the same on them all. And it, now that one has surplus on it. Um, this is another one that's the middle ground sniper. It doesn't have fast rate of fire. It doesn't have big impact. So it's middle grounds. So I'm going to try out the one with surplus and let's see if I like it. But again, this is another one that I'm most likely assuming I'm going to just burn for legendary marks. Last gun is the Amalan Tool Nella SR4 Scout Rifle. So the rank 1 version has Candle IS-2. Torch HS2, Impulse MS2, Replenish, Lightweight, Casket Mag, Army of One, and Exhumed. The rank 2 version has Spark IS6, Flash HS4, Impulse MS2, Triple Tap, Quick draw, feather mag, army of one, and exhumed. And then the rank three version has candle IS2, flash HS4, signal MS5, rescue mag, single point sling, casket mag, army of one, and eye of the storm. So this one, I'm going to probably go with this one, the rank 3. I like the Eye of the Storm with Casket Mag and Rescue Mag. Would probably be very useful. Um, but I have the Hung Jury, and it's my literal go-to Scout Rifle. And I haven't found a Scout Rifle yet other than that that I really like. Anything that will beat my Hung Jury. So most likely this will follow the trend of every other weapon I've been saying and become Legendary Marks. So that was what he offered from last week. Nothing amazing in my opinion. A lot of so-so. And that, so at least you're getting legendary marks. <laughs> and that, so it's a guaranteed legendary marks at least. But there was nothing I was too impressed with. It was all pretty much meh to me. So then this week for field test weapons, he's got a Hake Test A auto rifle where you have to use it against fallen targets. He's got a Soros TSA-10 auto rifle, which is just precision kills. Uh, he's got an Amalan Test FR-1 fusion rifle, which is used against Vex Minotaurs. And they have to be red barred. They cannot be majors. And he's got a Hake Test A hand cannon, which is double kills. And then a Hake Test A shotgun, which is hive targets. So I did the dark beyond i had the checkpoint for the end of the dark beyond i did that and took care of pretty much almost all of it i did the precision kills the double kills the hive and then i went into venus patrol and went to ember caves took care of the fallen and then went to the citadel and took care of the vex minotaur literally took me like a half an hour tops so the weapon field test weapon shouldn't take that long at all this week then Foundry Orders for next week. He's got a Hake Arminius slash D auto rifle, which is the first time he's been, he's selling this. So we will see what that looks like. I'm hoping it's a high impact, my kind of auto rifle, but we'll see. He's got a Soros DIS-43 scout rifle. Uh, he has sold the DIS-43 before with okay perks. I mean, they're pretty decent perks he had on it last time, so we'll see what the perks are this one. Perks in this one kind of make or break it. But again, it's one of those, my hung jury, I don't think I'll ever find anything that I like better than my hung jury. And he's got the Hake Judith-D hand cannon. First time selling this one. So we'll see what that is. And then he's got the Amalan Ufurin 
HC4 hand cannon. Another hand cannon. First time he's offering that. And then the Hake Ladu Lyodamila slash D pulse rifle. Uh, this one he offered the first week of Foundry Orders. This one has the higher impact, slightly lower rate of fire. Its base stats pretty much line up with the Messenger. Uh, the rolls he had in the last time weren't amazing. They were okay. But the one I have is what I used through all of Iron Banner last week. And I had no problems with it. I actually enjoyed it more than... A lot of people are going towards the faster rate of fire stuff like a Hawksaw or the Nurwind's Mercy that was offered in Iron Banner last week. But, I don't know. I fell in love with the Messenger during year one. Trials and everything. After I got that from Trials, I fell in love with it. And this being the exact same base stats, it just fell right. So, <laughs> I'm going to definitely picking this up hoping to get some better rolls on it so that's one i would off i would say go for that one uh hand cannons i'm picking off the first all oh, the one these three that are first time offers and then the scout was like i said to me it's the last one to worry about picking up just because of the hung jury <laughs> i haven't seen a scout rifle really yet that beats out the hung jury so that was banshee's arms day for October 21st, make sure to like, comment, share. Let me know what you guys picked out for Foundry Orders from last week. What you preferred and reasons why. What you're looking forward to in Foundry Orders next week. Any helpful other helpful hints for where to use the field test weapons. Then check out my other videos over at youtube.com slash c slash plays. And then you can check me out streaming from time to time over at twitch.tv slash Boltzilla plays. Until next time, Guardians, take it easy.